at this place in history. We're in the town of Essex with Steve Perkins, the executive director of the Vermont Historical Society. Steve, we're at 40th Ethan and Allen. Uh, we did a, a general overview of the history of the fort last week, but a particular fixture of the former fort is what brings us here this time. Yeah, Mike, you know, I think people who drive by on Route 15 always look and they see this big tower that's behind us and say, what is that? Is right. that for protecting the Winooski River from pirates? So, Mike, we're here in the 40th and Allen Museum with a curator of the museum, William Parkinson. The water tower was one of the first things built here. The first soldiers didn't arrive until September in 1894, but the tower was built in 1893. You see that brave guy? He's standing up there at the very top of the roof. Where he's standing is 96 feet. The center of the water tower is a steel riveted water tank. It's 62 feet tall and 12 feet in diameter, and it holds 50,000 gallons of water. The outside, is the face stone, is a real nice Sutherland um, marble, Proctor, Vermont. Down here at the door, it is literally four foot thick. The diameter of the building at the bottom is 24 feet. By the time you get to the top, the diameter has reduced to 21 feet, and the stone has reduced to two feet thick up there. We're here with Tom Yando from the town of Essex, and we're gonna talk a bit about the tower today and what's going on and then the future. Tom, first of all, I understand you have a bit of a restoration project in its early stages right now. Yes, we're looking at redoing the roof and the all of the windows, the windows on the side and the windows up at the top. Right now, proposals are going out to contractors to to be able to fix the windows and the slate roof. It starts with the roof because once we can enclose it, then it, it helps uh, with the weather and whatnot. For the inside, there's a, a round metal staircase that connects to the block and to the cast iron tower inside itself. 2009 is when we shut, shut it down and now we wanna go back in with a structural engineer and have those all reevaluated and, and shored up. And now there's been a fair amount of fundraising and um, some gifts that have come in around this tower. Um, do you know how much has come in and how much you have left to go? With COVID or whatnot, construction costs have, have dramatically increased everything. So, um, you know, we're basically starting all over again with, with costs and construction. Right now, we've got about 150000 set aside to be able to redo the roof and the windows. The Essex Historical Society is, has a fundraising project going on to help support this. So, you know, I want to say, you know, to our viewers, if you're interested in helping to support this, you can go to the Essex Historical Society. I'm sure you can contact the town as well. Any sense of timeline? It's as donations come in. So the, the faster we can get some, some better, bigger grants and whatnot, then the faster we can get working on the tower. A towering remnant of 40th and Allen's infrastructure at this place in history. Mike and Steve, thank you. Well, both Vermont lacrosse teams